what's going on guys welcome back to the channel it's your boy Shimon here and I'm bringing something very different today today we're gonna look at what's on my PC now I don't really have that much things on my PC guys but thanks to PDF element pro for bringing this video I can show you guys what's on my PC now without any further ado guys let's jump onto the PC and see what I have in store for you guys now first off I just want to say that what's powering this PC or the part this setup is my laptop and it's a Dell Inspiron 7559 I've done a review on this I'll leave all the links down below in the description for you guys to check out but it's a core i7 processor GTX 960M um, it's 4k display I'm not really sure about all the specs I don't really remember everything but as I said before I did a complete review if you want to check that out but first off guys just look at my wallpaper this is just a spider-man wallpaper I think it looks really cool right here to be honest I don't really have that much things on my laptop or anything but let's just look at everything I have on my desktop first because it's as I said before it's not that much you have the recycle bin on PC this is where all your deleted file goes and you could go ahead and look in here if you found anything that you didn't want to delete you can recover them here or you could just clear the recycle bin I normally have all my videos that I want to be edited in this folder right here to keep me reminded that hey you need to go ahead and edit these videos I also have my Shopify folder um, this is where I store all my images everything needed for my Shopify stores we also have driver booster I use this application to boost my drivers if i need to play any video games i would i would use driver booster to boost my drivers or any drivers that's out of date it would automatically install all of them from there i want i won't open all these programs because it would just take too long i don't want the video be, video to be too long for you guys i also have cc cleaner i use this program to to clean all my cache files um it's c cleaner my bad not cc cleaner c cleaner yeah i use it to clean all my cache files my cookies delete all the junk files that stored on my pc and it really gets your pc your laptop running really smooth next up we have the geforce experience app i use this app to um to play games you know i use it to record my gameplay capture my highlights so if you have if you get any kills in a game it would automatically save your kills which is really cool then we have the epic games launcher which is to play fortnite we have the MSI Afterburner and this is a nice application because if you have a lower running PC you could use that app to overclock your PC which is super super cool. Next up down here on this dock we have the files app, we have the Windows PC um, app store. So it's just like Apple app store but for Windows. We have Google Chrome, I use Google Chrome as my main internet browser. Next up we have Adobe Premiere Pro, this is what I use to edit my um my videos we have adobe after effects i need to start learning how to use after effects i have never ever tried to learn how to master it but that's what i use to make my intro if you guys know my intro you always ask how do i how do i get an intro this is what i use to make it well photoshop i love photoshop this is what i use for all my thumbnails most of my thumbnails are done on my mobile device on my iphone but some thumbnails are done on photoshop if it needs that super super retouching we have lightroom Lightroom is really good for editing pictures that I've took in RAW. So if I took a picture and it was underexposed or it needs a little bit of work, I would go into Lightroom. We have Adobe Illustrator. Um, I, I had this, basically I have the whole en entire Adobe Suite Illustrator used in school, but I'm not really a big fan of it. We have Wondershare Filmora. Wondershare Filmora is an editing software, almost like Premiere Pro, but at a beginner's level this is what i started out using back in 2016 when i just started youtube so i would definitely recommend you guys to check that out we also have wondershare filmora pro which is literally premiere pro but on wondershare in my opinion we have spotify i use this so many times to listen to music while i'm playing games or if i'm editing sometimes i listen to some background music while editing which is crazy but i do that sometimes next up we have this hue app this Philips Hue Sync app, this is where I control all my lights. So for example, I could change the lighting in here just like that by using this application, which is really cool. I kind of like this pink right here. I have six lights in my room, which is kind of crazy. All of them are Philips Hue. So yeah, you have different scenes you could play around with. I kind of like, I kind of like this one. Wait, what's this one? The tarot with the pink. Yeah, it kind of looks cool. 
So you could change different scenes, you could put it to games, and you could start the light sync. It's so basically how this would work is that it, it captures um, what's shown on the monitor. I'll have a full video about this coming soon guys, so I don't want to get too into that. But yeah, this is just a Philips Hue app where you could control your lights. So yeah, let me just go back to the Energize, which is the typical video editing or video filming scene, I would say. Next up, we have this Elgato Game Capture app, and I use, I don't really use it that much. I used to use it when I used to stream from a PS4, but I stopped doing that. Next up, we have Discord. This is what I used to talk to my friends while playing games. OBS is what I'm using to record this video right now on my PC. Then the, this is a shortcut for Driver Booster 6. This is, this is the app that I use to control my monitor right here. So as you can see, the resolution, the hertz that I'm running, um, I have multiple displays, but I'm only using one right now. So yeah, I use that to control my monitor settings. And then finally, the sponsor for this video, Wondershare PDF Element Pro. Now, this is an app that you could use for a replacement of Adobe Acrobat. And it's really good because you could create PDFs, you could convert PDFs for, if you have something in Microsoft Word, you could convert that to a PDF file. If you have an Excel file, you could convert that to a PDF file. So it's like a one-stop shop for all your pdf needs so first things first guys it's almost like it looks like microsoft word which i really like so let's just open a pdf guys to show you what's going on now to mess around with the text fields and everything you just need to go into edit and this is really robust you know so you can change the name up here you could add text so you want to add text just like that as I said before, it's really robust. There's the amount of things you could do with this is literally mind blown. So I might be lagging a little bit because OBS uses a lot of CPU power, which is crazy. So I just put that text right there, add text. Just a little example to show you guys. It's almost like um, Microsoft Word. As you can see, I could move around this, put it over here, you know, change, change this as well. You could change the font, you could change the color. Let's let's look over here. You could change it from open sans, drop down. I'm kind of lagging, but yeah. For example, any any fonts that you installed, you could change it to that. So for example, this dry bush font. This is what I installed myself. This is a font I installed myself. As you can see, it's already there. You could increase the font size, change the color all that good stuff so yeah that's just a little glimpse of what you could do you could add images as well so <laughs> let me add one of this image there's countless amount of things <laughs> countless amount of things you could do with it guys all right let me zoom out a little bit all right so this entire thing is my face I just realized that so I could make it smaller you know and I could put this up here for my resume someone would definitely hire me just by looking at that next thing you could do is you could add signatures which is really nice you could add a watermark if you want you could add a watermark to this you could change the background color the header and the footer all that jazz which is really cool there's so many things you could go go about changing with this pdf that you can't do it all with any pdfs out there right now it's just like a one-stop shop as i mentioned before so if you guys want to um test it out i'll leave the links down below in the description for you guys to go ahead and test it out that's basically what's on my pc guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you made it this far let me know your thoughts let me know your thoughts on the pdf element pro Thanks for sponsoring this video, making it possible, bringing something new to my channel. And yes, guys, as always, love, peace, and tweaks. Signing out.